Hey, my name is Eric, and I'm sitting on my toilet right now that I'm about to remove. I'm going to show you in this video how to remove this toilet and then also how to replace it back. First step is to um, just turn off the uh, water valve. Um, as you can see in the image here, that this toilet has a water valve um, included. Next, flush your toilet so you can remove all the water from it. And then once you do that, get a bucket and a large sponge and you can sponge out the remaining water from the top of the toilet. Once the water is out of the top tank, you can uh, detach your hose that goes to your water valve. Uh, you can see I'm using a wrench here and then it just uh, twists off with your hand and just have a little bucket ready to catch the uh, water that's inside that hose. After that, we will uh, do the same thing with sponging out the uh, water from the uh, bottom of the toilet. Depending on how your toilet was installed, there might be caulk underneath. This one was not, but you just want to take a, uh, a scraper like this and just remove the caulk from underneath there. On both sides of the toilet, there is the uh, bolt with the nut and flange here. As you can see, I'm just using that same wrench to loosen up that bolt. I'm going to remove the, or excuse me, loosen up that uh, nut. I'll remove that nut and then take off the um, washer and the uh, white flange on here. Uh, these are the two, there's two of these bolts and they're both holding um, the toilet to the ground. Um, we have all the bolts removed and the water line is um, disconnected from the back there. Uh, now I just gotta pick this up and move it. Already, You should already have a, a spot that you can lay it down. Um, I put a couple towels and a uh, trash bag down on the floor so I can lay this on. All right. Just lift this straight up so you can get it up over the bolts. And then wobble it out. You want to stuff something in there so you don't get stuff falling into the hole. Just using a chisel, something like this, you can get that old wax ring off of there. You'll notice that there used to be pink tiles around the um, toilet and now you just see the white floor and then in the upcoming scene the floor is a different color. If you'd like at the end of this video is a uh, tutorial on how to paint your bathroom tile floor. Here's the bottom of the bowl. Um, you can see that the uh, old wax ring left some crud on the bottom of here. You just want to clean that up with a wet rag and possibly a chisel or something that you can scrape it the best you can. All right, the hole's open. I'm gonna throw in this, um, this one's an ever-built wax ring. You pull it out, it looks kind of like a saucer like this. You can peel back the sides. It goes the same way that this is. Just drop it right in the hole here. Center that up. On the instructions, it says to put this on the bottom of the toilet, but a lot of the things I've seen and heard, especially from my dad who's done this a ton of times, is that if you do that, um, this will just fall off the toilet a lot. So it's easier to just get it centered up on here and then get your toilet onto that. Here I have a, a piece of cardboard so I can rest the toilet uh, edge on there. And you can see I have some help from my lovely wife to um, line up the bolts. This section you, or this part, you really want somebody to help you. Uh, this is a pain in the butt to try and get this on your own. Um, she was a big help here, um, just getting these bolts lined up. Just get one in first and then the other. You might have noticed the pencils I had off to the side. Those were just uh, there to give me an idea of where the bolts were as I was putting the toilet down. I might recommend putting something in the middle too, in between where my feet are, just to let me know um, where you are in approximation to center of that uh, toilet, um, where it should be lining up in the wax ring. This goes back on. It says this side up on here. And I'm gonna put the washer. And I'm gonna hand tighten this nut over top of it. I'm gonna just finish giving it a last half turn with a wrench. Maybe do a full turn. And same thing on the other side. Just putting your water valve back on. Okay, 
I'm gonna open this up. As you can see, the back of the toilet's filled up, and now this toilet's filled up. <laughs> so, uh, last test that we need to do is flush it and check for uh, any water around the base of the toilet. As you can see, it is now filling up. You'll want to just uh, check for leaks. Take a leak there. Could leak up there. But I'm not seeing anything so far. The uh, toilet and the uh, floor came out really nice. If you want to watch uh, the video on how to paint your tile floor, you can click the annotation on the screen that you can see right now. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Good luck with your uh, project yourself.